ready to go on the dock. I feel ready for it. I think we got this. We've run aground, which isn't ideal. Are you guys stuck? Stuck? This is the story of a sailboat named Sylvia and the ragtag crew that call her home. Join us each week as we explore our planet, both above and below the surface, and find out what it's really like to live a life at sea. This is Expedition Drenched. What do you picture in your mind when you imagine a sailboat full of strangers from all corners of the globe sailing around the world? Is it a perfect tropical island? Is it an underwater dream world? Is it a barely inhabited volcano? The South Pacific is full of these faraway, almost mythical gems, but it is also home to bustling industrial cities. And our journey through the diverse nation of Fiji would not be complete without a stop in the largest city in the entire South Pacific, Suva. We tend to visit bigger cities like these when we need things like parts for the boat, fuel, or water. And our visit to Suva needed all of the above. This would be one of the last major ports we would visit before heading off to spend the rest of the season in more remote locations. So on this morning, we decided it would be a good opportunity to top off Sylvia's fuel tanks with diesel. What's the plan, Captain? Okay. We're gonna go fuel up since the first time since New Zealand, and it's tight. So, it's real tight. It's real tight. So we have to go in at high tide, um, which is now. Getting ready to go on the dock. If you would have asked me six months ago when we first were buying the boat, if I thought that we would be comfortable to go into a place like this, I would have just said absolutely not, hell no. So it's really cool how far we've come and how confident we feel with the boat. And we're learning every day. I feel ready for it, I think we got this. And we just, right now, just used our last drop of water. So it's definitely perfect timing because I'm in the middle of cooking black beans and they're running out of water in the pot. So we gotta get in there now. Brett's got his shorty shorts on. Ready to go. Ready to destroy the dock, or not destroy the dock. Not rather. destroy the dock. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna slip in, not hit. Nah, no, I don't wanna say anything yeah. bad. We got no. this. Yeah, I think we're prepared. Everyone's in the zone. Yeah. Everyone's cool. getting the lines ready, the fender's ready, the dinghy ready, the radio's ready. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a full. We've mission. got a f army of people, so we yeah. should be able to manage it. Sophia, you ready to get all filled up? You thirsty girl. Check, 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 check. Dinghy team, assemble. We're bringing Sylvia right in here. So we're gonna come in here, turn around here, and then put our ass back there where we're gonna get fuel. See how this goes. <laughs> it's a bit snugger than I remembered when we drove by last night. <laughs> Can't see it on the GoPro, but it looks like they're stuck right there. Are you guys stuck? Stuck? Yep, you heard that right. We had officially run Sylphia aground for the first time. Being a big steel boat, we were pretty confident that Sylphia would be fine, even if we got stuck until the next high tide. But it's still a pretty unnerving feeling to look around at all the other company in the bay that had found themselves in a similar predicament, whose outcome wasn't so lucky. Hello, how are you today? I have a embarrassing question, slash favorite to ask. Our boat was coming in and they're, they are stuck. They ran aground. Okay, the dive boat's on its way out now. What about trying to pull the halyard and like pull the mast to one side and then push it forward? Yeah, connect to the boat. Not that way, if you can, we want to lean the boat over. So like straight out there. Every challenge is a learning experience. 
<laughs> so we've run aground, which isn't ideal. So we tried to drop our anchor back in the deep. We've got a line running from the top of our mast to lean us over to reduce our depth. They're moving apparently. They're oh, facing yeah, yeah. another direction, so. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's one way to get your heart going in 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Whoa! Work day is cut short. Let's go have some beers. <laughs> <laughs> what an event. Yeah, we made quite a show here <laughs> at the marina. What do you think? There's sirens for us, I think. <laughs> well, there's a saying among sailors that there's two types of people in this world. Those that have run their boat aground and those that lie about it. And so now we're officially sailors. This is our first time hitting bottom on Sylvia and getting stuck. And I can say that as far as those circumstances go, I think we got off pretty easy. So no reef, we made it out in time. So all is well that ends well. Thank you very much. Pretty high pressure situation, but everyone come together pretty quick. It was a little tense because the tide's dropping out now, so it was only going to get worse and worse. And you don't want to be the boat spending a day on your side yeah. while everyone comes past in the marina. The people were so friendly, they just came and wanted to help us. Like, yeah, well, I'm sure scared. I'm sure everyone's done at least once in their life, and someone's like, nah, I've never run the ground, I feel like they're lying. Yeah. It's part of learning. But we can laugh about it now once we've got our anchor set. <laughs> and we're gonna have to reevaluate our plan of how we're gonna get water and fuel. We're trying to find out about a bigger fuel dock, and we're <laughs> in the middle of all these like huge cargo ships and big fishing boats and stuff. Like ma mariners, you yeah, know, like. Actually, it's <laughs> definitely are staring at us. Know that we had started to ask questions and then they just told us to come in here, so I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> we heard that maybe we could come here and ask about bringing our boat in to fuel up. Is it possible? We're too big for the marina, and so we can't get in there. And we thought that we could fill up here, maybe at one of the With bigger boats. Oh. Is it possible? Uh, yeah. Yeah, in, in this port, yeah, like in only allow fishing vessels. Oh, okay. We do some fishing as well. Pardon? We do some fishing as well. <laughs> 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 okay. okay, so it's not possible. Yeah, it's not possible. To okay. Fish okay. Fish Our diesel dreams were dashed. And without any new leads, we decided that this would be a problem for another day. So we headed back to Sylvia to carry on with some of our other plans for the day. This is a bit of a mess on board right now, as you can see. After our failed attempts at getting fuel and water, we've just been doing it the old fashioned way today and doing dinghy trips with water jugs, and fuel jugs, which has been a big project for the day. And then we're doing a bunch of spring cleaning and laundry and getting the boat all ready because in a few days, we're gonna have some of our patrons that are gonna be coming out to stay with us for a visit, which is super exciting, but we're gonna have 16 people on board. So as you can imagine, um, we gotta tidy up a little bit to be ready for uh, for such an event. But we decided to take a break out of our busy afternoon to do something really fun that as an idea that Nate came up with. So let's see what what he's got in store for everybody tonight. What's the plan, baby? Apparently everybody's wearing flannel, so there's that. <laughs> uh, we are going to have a little challenge. 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 What is our challenge going to be? We are going, going to, to go into the big city and we are going to eat all the street food. So I'm giving everybody 10 Fijian dollars, which is like the equivalent of 5 US. So also part of the challenge is just to see how far and how much street food you can buy with that. 
So, that's the plan. Who's ready to stuff their faces? Besides the lure of delicious and cheap street food, I was also really looking forward to getting a taste of city vibes in a new country. Variety is the spice of life, and after a few months on sandy beaches, a bit of hustle and bustle sounded pretty exciting. We're downtown. We made it. Let the, the street food fiesta ensue. Let's go. It's so loud and colorful, huh? I know. Yeah, it's so busy. It's so strange after being on so remote islands and to see so many people. <laughs> it's cool. I like it. It's yeah. a nice change every once in a while. Um, Round number one, what are we having? Okay, I'm having a strawberry milk. It's a nice way to prime the tummy for culinary delights. Mm -hmm. What's your name? Angela. Angela? Yeah. Are you from Suva? Yes. Oh, cool. And what are you serving on this lovely evening? Uh, I'm serving a uh, milkshake. It? Milkshake? Okay. Yeah. How do you make it? I mix the milk with uh, oh. ice cream and plus the uh, milkshake powder. It's your own secret blend? Yes. Cool. Well, it's very delicious. Thank yeah. you so much. Thank you. Have a good Love night. You. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Starting to get some smells. I could smell something. Hot dogs, chicken burgers, hot dogs, chicken. How many hot dogs do you think you've made in your whole life? Like one, one million. <laughs> what are all your secret ingredients for your hot dog toppings? Yeah, secret ingredients, boy. Just uh, mayonnaise, mustard, homemade, homemade mayonnaise, yeah. homemade mayonnaise, yeah. Yeah. With sauce and barbecue sauce and the mustard. Ooh. Yeah. Here comes the bill. Check out the bill. Hot dogs. Thank you. And yeah, one, <laughs> two, three. Final bite. The last bite. How do you rate it? One to ten. Yeesh. It's meant to be ten fingers. <laughs> ten. What did you spot, Brett? I don't know, we were just walking along trying to find eight and looked down the back alley and I seen something frying, girls with little caps on. I got excited. Looks promising. The best lead we've had. I'm uh, doing a barbecue, which is lamb barbecue and chicken barbecue. Seven dollars a day. We have lamb here. Yeah. It comes with sausage, egg and chow mein, with cassava and also. Uh, is it made on a typical Fijian way? Yes, it is. Especially our marination. We've made our way to the sandwich section. Sandwich and, zone. And they all serve the same sandwich. It makes it easy, so I'm gonna get one. This guy's like a machine. He's double-handed, swirling the bottles around. We should have asked double cheese. Oh. We wouldn't waste enough. It looks like double, double cheese. cheese. Okay. This is football, okay? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about food porn. There is something quite magical about like food trucks, street food, anything of the sorts. It's like the ultimate way to eat in a big city because you can get like lots of small stuff for really cheap and meet cool people and try all different kinds of flavors. And I would say that my street food expectations were definitely met today. Join us next time as we make our final preparations to leave Suva. Check out a proper pirate ship and have one hell of a sail to Pacific Harbor for our first ever Patreon meetup on Sylphia, where we managed to cram 16 people on board. Are you ready for something that you've been talking about for quite some time? What's our next event? I, I don't say it, I'll do it. Jolene, Jolene, karaoke. Yeah. <laughs>